Hey guys, Snap is Joe back again with another episode of Final Fantasy IV PC. In the last episode, we got to Troya, we met with Edward, and then Edward said the Dark Elf has the Earth Crystal. Now, I did say at the end of last episode that I was going to grind 100,000 gil off screen. Little did I know that the enemies around here gave 59 to 73 gil per fight. And I did the math on that, and it was going to take me 33 hours to grind that. So I was like, fuck it, I'm still going to stick to it, I'm going to do it. And so what I did was, I looked up the best possible gill farming spot for this point in the game, and it was actually back in the antlion den, fighting the, uh, the yellow jellies, or puddings, or whatever they're called. And uh, they drop 75 gill, like, consistently over uh, just every single battle. And in the small little cave, uh, in the cave, there's a small, the small room where the treasure chests were. Uh, you can either find them or the admin toys, so you're going to get them a lot. So while I was gill farming, uh, every single jelly enemy in the game has a chance of dropping an item called a rainbow pudding. Now, the rainbow pudding is a very special item because it has a 1.6% drop rate. And you need it for a quest way later in the game. Uh, not, not a main story quest, for a side quest. So, not only did I get one of those, I got two of those within my first, I think, three hours of grinding gill. And you only need one of those, so I decided to sell one, and that gave me... 100,000 gil on top of my 20,000 gil I already had from grinding. So on top of that, I also have the leftover rainbow pudding, which is insanely lucky. I have never been this lucky in this game before, and now I don't need to farm that off screen. Like, ever again, because I got it. I'm super happy with that. The fact that I got two is ridiculous, and that wasn't back to back. That was like two within the course of three hours, so maybe... I'm going to say one and a half hours each to get both of them. I didn't even notice the first drop. I noticed the second drop when, I said, when it said rainbow pudding. I was like, holy shit, I got a rainbow pudding. I, sh uh, I wish I was recording. Because, oh man, I was ecstatic. But I got the rainbow, I got the, both rainbow puddings, sold one for 100,000 gil, so now I'm set for gil. So, enough fucking talking. Let's get the fucking members written and do this. You're supposed to do this uh, later in the game. Uh, but I wanted to do it now. It's not this building, fucking idiot. It's up here. No, not... Uh, come on. <laughs> I just want to do this. I'm just excited to be able to do this this early in the game. This is the wrong house. Man, I'm really good at... Oh, it's the fucking house over here. God damn it. I'm so good. I was in this fucking house not too long ago. Like, four hours ago. Uh, members is this guy. No, I gotta buy it from her, don't I? Welcome. Members writ. 100,000 gil. Worth it. I don't care, I've got 20,000 gil left. Fuck it. Got the members writ. You only ever need one of these in the game. May I see your members writ? Uh, there it is. Well then, everything seems to be in order. Have a pleasant time. Yeah. Let's do this. It's fucking... Oh, should it be Cecil, though? Uh, it's gonna be weird as tell. Our daughter's young. Young, yeah. Our daughter's young, not Cecil. Cecil's a faithful man. Young... Oh, but young as a wife. Hmm. Fuck it. We'll do it as teller. Hello? Welcome! The show is just about to begin. Here we go. Oh my god. I can't believe this is a scene in the fucking game. Look at them all. <sighs> I love how you don't actually sit on any of the seats either. I have nothing to say. 
It's just Tella watching a bunch of scantily clad women dance in a weird room with three chairs. Oh, they're gonna put him on the chair. Oh, Tella. Your daughter's dead. And the Earth is at in peril. God damn it, Tella. There is a specific reason we're doing this. It's not just for this scene, which is awkward and hilarious. And yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself, Teller. Sink your beard into your fucking chest. Where did they go? Oh, they're gone, Teller. So there is a reason why we z we are in here. Let's talk to you. Hey, hey, hey. You like to start the morning off the same way, eh? Oh, God. If we come back into the dressing room... Which way is it? This way. There is an augment here! Obtained gill farmer. That's right, after you've farmed 100,000 gill, you can get the gill farmer augment. Mmm, so good. <sighs> now let's talk to you. Eh! What are you doing in here? This is a dressing room. Get out! I will. I just need to make sure there's no more treasures in here. Nope. But we got the Gil Farmer Augment, and that's all that matters. Ah, <sighs> now I never have to worry about doing that fucking 100,000 Gil grind again. I can't believe I got fucking two Rainbow Puddings. I remember when I played this back on the DS, it took me... I don't know how long to get one Rainbow Pudding. Four, five, maybe six hours constantly playing. Probably even longer than that. Uh... Like, even- I think it might have actually been a couple of days of trying to get it, and then just giving up. What am I doing? Right. Uh, oh! Before I forget. Inventory. There is something I forgot to do, which was... Key items. Bluff. We're giving bluff to Teller. So, remember I said we're giving certain augments to characters, so we can get other augments later. Oh, and I was also wrong in the last episode. Uh, you do get Bard Song automatically from, um, from Edward later. Uh, you just don't get Hide and Salve. So that's fine. And Gil Farmer. Gil Farmer we're giving to Sid. It, it'll, it, it'll be worth it. I swear to God it'll be worth it. Uh, now, oh no, we want to go to... Abilities. We'll just have Sid put that on. Just so we can get more gill back after battles. That way I don't have to grind any more off screen. Also, because I did grind for a while, uh, everyone's level went up by 10, I think. We're all in our mid-30s now, which is pretty good. Everyone's n really strong. I can one-hit most of the enemies around here now, except for, you know, Teller's regular attacks. Oh, never healed between. I should probably go to the inn. I have, like, no MP. Also, Cecil has way more MP than Teller now. Uh, I don't think I pick up any more equipment. I'll go to the inn. We'll rest up. Ah, we'll rest up at the inn. And then there's somewhere else I want to go before I continue the story. Ah, uh, something that I completely missed ages ago, and it's kind of vital to- it's like a vital side quest. Uh, there's... A character that we were supposed to talk to a long time ago, and I never fucking did it. I completely walked past it. I believe it was when I was talking about Chocobo Forests, and one that I possibly missed. I'm not sure if I said I possibly missed one, but I definitely missed one. So we're gonna go over and... G like, fucking check it out. I, I believe it's just underneath Mount Ordeal, so I'm just going to speed fly us over there. All right, we're here. Touchdown. Chocobo forests are always depicted by the- Oh my god, are you serious? Fuck these guys. Oh, I've got it on auto battle because I was grinding. <laughs> Screw it. We do a fuck ton of damage now, I don't care. Look at this shit. Fantastic. Over a thousand damage on each one of those. Oh, let's see if- Ah, I didn't get a red drop from that. Would have been cool if I got a red drop. Wait, they just gave me 113 gil. The fucking guide lied to me! They give you way more gill! That's bullshit. Anyway, we're at the Chocobo Forest. 
And we completely missed out on continuing this quest. Oh, greetings and salutations, Cecil. What in the world brings you this far? What, what, what in the world brings you this far out of the way? What about me, you ask? Well, as you know, I've been traveling about, recording all manner of events. But after a while, I came to realize I enjoyed camping more than filming. It seemed wildly inappropriate to continue journeying as recording way once I discovered the joy of sleeping beneath the stars. Instead, I've made my, it my goal to travel around the world, camping at all sorts of famous places. Recording way became Camping Way, the outdoorsman. Oh, but you needn't worry. My friend who lives here in Chocobo Forest has promised to take up the mantle and continue recording the events of our time. Actually, I was wondering if you would might do me a favor. I haven't had time to return to town lately with all this camping, and I'm afraid I've run out of tents. If you have enough to spare, might you be kind enough to help me out? I'd be willing to pay top gill. What do you say? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's sell him a tent. Oh, thank you so much. I didn't th think you would be kind enough to give me all of them. Oh my god, I forgot. Well then, I must return to my travels until we meet again. Well, looks like I'll be buying goddamn tents. Now, I can't remember- Oh, he is here, so let's- let's activate him. The stench of Chocobo perv <laughs> pervades the air. Where is it? Where's the Gasol Greens? I know I have them. Where are they? There they are. We've got my favorite Chocobo. We got Fat Chocobo. Hey! Hello there, is there something I can help you with? And here you can look at the bestiary, the event theater, and I can't remember what the third option is, but I'm sure we will unlock it later. But yeah, so you can- now you can view the entire bestiary, and all the cutscenes with Fat Chocobo, provided you have Gasol Greens. In the DS version, though, uh, there was a bonus thing you could do with Fat Chocobo that doesn't apply to the PC version because it's DS exclusive. Um, because the DS version had multiplayer. And you would battle with a certain, I think a certain summon you got uh, for Rydia that tr just traveled with you as a companion. It's a really weird bonus minigame thing, but they never added it to the PC version. Not sure why, I feel like it could have worked. Anyway, let's speed back to Troyo. We did it! Okay. Now that we've got that stuff out of the way, we can actually continue on with the story. And the funny thing is... we. <laughs> We actually need to go to another Chocobo Forest, which is fantastic. I'm just gonna put on auto battle. They know what to do. These enemies are kind of nothing. Those, the Hedgehog dudes are really annoying because they can sometimes inflict stone. Um, but, and the, uh, the trees can cast stop, so that's pretty annoying. But other than that, not, there's nothing too bad here. Oh, we got 90 gil for that? Did, did Oh, I know why I'm getting more gill. I've I've got fucking gill farmer on. No shit, Sherlock. I just did that. Oh, that I, that, I confused the shit out of myself for no reason. Anyway, we need to grab a black chocobo. Caught you, black chocobo. Because black chocobo can fly, but not very high. And where we need to fly is to a forest area, which is just over here. And you can't land the ship here. And the cave, there it is. Now I think, Black, yeah, Black Chocobo waits for you outside, which is fantastic. And then we go in here. Oh. The magnetic field in this cave is unbelievable. Better remove all our metal armor or weapons if we want to be able to move in here. My claws don't seem to be affected. And we have my magic as well, there's nothing to fear. I totally forgot about that. Uh, so what's he got that's, um... Oh, the silver armlet. Okay. So we have to remove you. Uh... I have to remove the Mythgraven blade and the Lustrious shield and the ruby ring. Oh, man. This isn't good. He's fine. Oh, actually, is he? No, he's not. Need to get rid of his fucking... I, um, I totally forgot about this. I believe the magnetic field does lift later, so... 
We should be fine later, but for now, Sid and Young are going to be our damage dealers. I totally forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, equipment. Cecil has nothing on, right? No, he's got the Feather Cap and Guy Gear. Okay, he should be okay. He just can't attack. Ah, uh, that looked like a secret, but it's literally just an abyss. I don't remember too much about this dungeon. Uh, at all, really. I don't remember what items are here. I don't remember secrets. I remember nothing but the boss fight. Oh, good. Uh, should I keep this on auto battle? Probably not. But who knows, maybe it'll be fine. Oh, Cecil does one damage. Uh, are you weak to fire, Ogre? Let's find out. You are... You're not weak to it, but Teller's just ridiculously strong now, so... That's good. Oh, nice, 2000 XP. Oh, I just noticed that the entranceway didn't get counted as part of the percentage. Come on now, game. There we go. That's ridiculous that that happens. Oh, I just chose to attack with Cecil again. Oh, man. I forget what Blaster does. Oh, it paralyzes you as if you had metal on. Oh, no. Oh, and he got fucking turned to stone. That's why I hate... Don't you do it to him, too, or I'll be fucking pissed. You need to use Essena right now. Because stone, it, it's the same as death, so after a battle, um, the people afflicted with stone don't gain any experience. It's infuriating as hell. Ah, we should be good with that. I wonder if the ancient sword is, uh... counted with, uh... the metal restrictions. Ancient sword? Does that... Yeah, it does. Shit. Ah, that sucks. Remove. Okay, Cecil's going in barehanded, where he does no damage, which is just fan-fucking-tastic. I'm gonna keep the map up a lot of the time. I don't know why I keep putting it down again. I just- I just really need to know where I'm going. Young yeah, leveled up, but, uh, Tella needs healing. Oh, we got high potions, though. We got a lot of high potions thanks to grinding. Uh, everyone else is fine on health. Bring up this again. Oh my god, seriously? It's gonna be like- oh, this is perfect, actually. Let's see how this goes. Cecil, do nothing. Uh, cure everyone, because everyone's gonna need healing. You attack, you attack. You use... Just use fire on everyone. Cecil's cure is actually not too bad. He cures a hefty amount. Also, if you notice, I don't know if you probably did notice in the fucking last couple of battles, but uh, Cecil's health is ridiculous now. He's got more than young. Uh, in fact, everyone's health except for Tellers is now well over a thousand, which is fantastic. Just means more survivability. I'm kind of glad I did that grinding. Uh, I did it I feel like the game made it so I did enough to the point where I didn't become super OP because of the rainbow puddings. If I didn't get the rainbow puddings, like I said, it would have taken me 33 goddamn hours to grind out 100,000 gil. And I just don't have that kind of time to just waste on grinding. I got another for that. That's not too bad. Now what have we got? Oh my god, more encounters. And it's the same enemies! I'm glad Young does a ton of damage. I should use Kick with him more often, actually. Just to wipe out enemy- that's every enemy, because he does so much damage with Kick, and I keep forgetting that he even has it. Oh, what's around this way? Anything special? Probably not. More enemies, though. Actually, I want to see how much Kick does. Where's Kick? Kick. I want to see if he can just straight up annihilate everyone. Alright, it takes a while to cast. Uh, annihilate them, please. Yeah, I should do kick more often. That does too much damage. That's great. I don't know why I haven't been using it. That's probably his best move. Oh. That's just for map completion, then? Let's come up here. There's a doorway there. 
Uh, I want to check it just to see if it's progress. It's not progress! Yay! Yay, more encounters. New enemies though. Oh, Mind Flayer. I wonder if I can get the drop from this. There's, that'll be pretty good actually if I can. He needs to die first though, and I just... Straight after saying I should use Kick, I don't. I actually really hope I do get that drop. It's a super rare drop that Mind Flayer can drop. Drop, 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 drop. Uh, called Mind Flayer, believe it or not. And it's a, it's a rare summon you can get for Redia. There are, I, I think, four uh, random enemies that drop summons. Uh, so there's Mind Flayer, the Cockatrice, the birds that turn you to stone, uh, Goblin, and I can't remember the fourth one, but I'm... Oh, Bomb. Bombs can drop them too. So if I want to farm them, I have to go back to uh, Mount Hobbs. Like, actually Mount Hobbs. Not the fuck up that I made about Mount Ordeals. Man, the counter rates are high, eh? I totally forgot that I have no tents. <sighs> I'll be back in a moment because of the the magic of Cecil. He has teleport, so I can warp to the beginning of a cable dungeon. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I'm back. And I rest I rested back at the inn and I bought a I think I bought like 10 tents, so we should be all good. I fought a couple of enemies on the way in and ran away from the rest because I didn't really need to fight that many anymore. Let's continue. Kind of a longer episode this time. That's alright. I'll probably go until, again, I find the, uh, oh, oh, the, I got it, okay. Until I find a checkpoint and I'll probably end the episode there. Oops. Uh, no, that's where we need to go. Going back down. God damn. Probably to find more fucking encounters. Oh, good. So the combo system of Young kicking everything and Sid smacking stuff with his hammer is pretty good. I like it a lot. Oh, my goodness. Preemptive. Uh, fuck it. I'll just keep it on auto battle. The fucking... What are they called? Corals? They don't really stand a chance at all. It's the ogres that uh, pack more of a punch. Literally. And they have a bunch more health. And they're not really doing that much damage. I think it's because uh, I'm overleveled for this part now. Maybe. I have no idea. Like, I, I don't think I am, but I, maybe the game thinks I am. I don't know. Aha, there was a treasure chest down here. What do we got? Three vampire fangs. Okay, cool. And we got an ether. Cool. That's not too bad. Now back over to the fucking door again. Come on. Don't interrupt me. As soon as, soon as I finished saying it. Come on now. The counter rate's not been too bad this time around, but it has been pretty awful lately. Oh, is this a save point? It is a save point! Would you look at that? Nice, and there's no hidden treasure chests because the map doesn't lie. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll do for this episode. It's been kind of a long one this time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!